All right, students, so for your, your next project, uh, this is what we're going to be doing, okay? You're gonna need two sheets of paper for this. If you have a piece of colored construction paper, that's great. Uh, it'll actually help us uh, later when we distinguish one piece of paper from the other on our sheet here. So colored paper helps that out just a little bit more. So if you do have a sheet of construction paper, or even if you don't have a sheet, take a piece of paper, line up your edges, just like this. Okay, make a nice fold. Okay, make sure it's well folded, and then you're gonna reverse your fold. You're gonna take it and fold it back the other way and make a nice fold on the opposite side again. Use a good amount of pressure because we're gonna rip this in half now. Okay, take it, rip it in half, put your finger at right where the tear is gonna be, and keep it close as you tear right down the center. <clears throat> okay, discard one of these, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna fold it again into half. Okay. Just like that. We're gonna do the same thing we did again. We're gonna reverse our folds back to the other side. Okay, press really well. And then we're gonna tear it again. Because we only need a quarter of our paper total. Okay, discard that one. All right, so with this one, you're gonna take, bring your corner up to the side as far as it can, so that we can make a square now. Okay, try to do this as perfect as possible. If it doesn't turn out perfectly, it's really okay. We're gonna do our best. Okay, take a pair of scissors, cut off the excess. And you should have, once you fold it back open, a nice square. Okay, so now with that square, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil, you're gonna position it on your paper how you like it, <clears throat> and you choose which way. So we're gonna be talking a bit about a concept called asymmetry today. So asymmetry is the opposite of symmetry. Often we talk about asymmetry and we use a blob as an example for something that's asymmetrical. Uh, it's anything that is not, you can't split straight down the center with an imaginary line. Just gonna fix some of these, okay, great. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a composition drawing and using paper. And the whole idea is that everything that you cut out of this, we're going to reverse to the opposite side. And then it's gonna become part of our composition. Uh, it's gonna be exploding out of this box, so to speak. And we're just making a black and white drawing. And so the contrast will be extremely high. All right, so here's our next step. You're gonna cut out shapes out of this. Now take your time as you do this because you don't want the paper to tear and you only get one shot because you only got one square. Okay, so there is our one shape. So when I put this down on my square again, okay, this shape is actually going to fit right there on my composition. Okay, and so what I'm going to do now is make sure that this is lined up properly. Okay, that looks good. I'll pull this away, hold my piece of paper here, and I'm gonna go ahead and trace the outside edge. Take your time, okay? If your paper doesn't hold down very well, then you'll have to kind of sketch lightly around the outside edge, okay? There's one side, push it to the Put it back in position. Okay, I'm taking my time. 
All right, cool. So there we go. We've got same shape on two sides. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go ahead and trace to my best ability around this shape. All right, now they match and they're symmetrical here now. So we're actually not only just using regular symmetry in this one, but asymmetry as well. So yet again, I can't put an imaginary line here and it's not gonna be the same on both sides. So that's why it's an asymmetrical composition. But we're using some elements that do have symmetry out coming out of the box. All right, I'm gonna make my next cut now. So now, I'm going to make another wavy line coming out of the box. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna line it back up again. Okay, this time this one's gonna come out this way. Yet again, it's gonna be symmetrical. And if you notice, it's actually gonna come right off the page on this side, and that's okay. Some of these will not fit. So this time I'm actually going to do the inside shape first. I actually do think that's probably easier in the long run for you to do. So I'm gonna quickly do the inside shape. If you do this lightly, you should have a pretty easy time erasing any lines if you make any mistakes. Okay, just like that. All right, pull that off. I'm gonna line up the other side of my shape right here. Okay, it's gonna be symmetrical. And this time it's gonna come right off the page. Yet again, that's okay. Okay, cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep doing this. You can make as many complicated cuts as you want out of this. <clears throat> Just remember this, anything you cut out of it, it's gonna mirror to the opposite side. Even if I cut out a little teensy tiny shape here, okay, and it could just simply be almost like a oval shape. Even if I cut out a tiny oval shape, it still has to mirror outside the box. Okay, so I'll put it there and I'll trace it here. Okay, I'm still gonna have to take that other side of the piece and trace it over here. Just like that. Okay, so once you've done that, you've cut out many pieces out of this. For example, I could cut almost two or three more pieces out of this on this opposite side to put down and continue making cool like little tentacle like things coming out. It can be circles, it can just be regular shapes, whatever you like for your composition. But you need to pick something you're gonna cut out from at least every single side, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys get to this, cut it all out. And we'll come back in the next video. I'll have some of this ready to go. And I will teach you what the next step is.